That's the conversation now. Is he or is he not transphobic? Instead of, well, what is the what is the actual stance? Why is this incorrect or why uh, what is your position that's better? It's hard to, to be nice to conservatives when, you know, their largest TikTok accounts are obsessing over outing every single LGBT teacher as a groomer, right? I, I'm super empathetic towards bashing conservatives when they need it. I think the issue comes whenever there are these slight divides on the left where these people, instead of being able to engage in critical yes. conversation and defend our ideas in the ways that would, you know, be best to defend them, we end up just outing them and saying, we're not going to have these conversations anymore. We're not going to, uh, we're above debating, you know, trans women in sports or we're above debating uh, whether or not all of white supremacy, you know, ruins all of society. We're above debating Roe v. Wade or any type of abortion or affirmative action. And the, this is, again, a lot of the, the positioning of uh, people who follow these pundits, these streamers. They, that's their opinion. They genuinely think that I'm above having an abortion debate. I'm above having an affirmative action debate. And they're because it's so obvious that I'm right, that I don't even want to waste my time hearing what you have to say about it. And because that's a moral thing, then now they're just like, uh, well, yeah, I mean, if uh, he said it when a conservative guy over here said it. So if you are talking about Roe v. Wade, if you're talking about abortion, you must be a conspiracy theorist. Are you a conspiracy theorist? Well, I mean, based on the semantic obfuscation, I think I am. Uh, Tim Cass throws a wide net. Indeed, yes. Uh, all the people, I mean, not the... Uh, not this guy, but all three of these have been uh, guests before. Yep. Xander said, how great to have this word of uh, censorship. Wait, slowly. Uh, uh, crushing us. Yes, if only, if only the rest of the 7 million words that we're not allowed to say. Then, then. I think not only do we lose the ability to strengthen the arguments on these sides from we have to argue with people in the middle or people on the right, which normal people do have to contend with because we all live together, like it or not. We also lose the ability to kind of strengthen our own positions and have our own uh, path forward where our uh, where we're more research back, we're more academically focused, we're being more honest with our arguments. This is again why I tell you guys to have the conversation instead of trying to win an argument. Because when you actually just have the conversation, your arguments themselves get better. Your line of thinking, your position itself gets better. Or it's tested and stands strong and you can be more confident in the position that you had in the first place. Because instead of actually testing the metal of any of our arguments and, and fortifying mm -hmm. them and reinforcing them, we end up just outing somebody for simple disagreements. Be like, we are better than you! N words. And I think we're seeing that, like, that, that has had, like, drastically horrible real-world impacts. I think of the University of Washington um, saying that they're not going to walk back a, a positive headline on a trans study because they think it'll look bad. Or I think of, like, all of the fighting that the left does, not to call out any particular people, but, like, with Jesse Single, who writes a lot of articles about trans-related issues, rather than people mm. being able to engage with any of these issues honestly. With good I'm not sure who this Jesse person is, but, you know, a person who talks about politics on the left who I think wrote an article that was not just rah rah trans your kids all that kind of stuff um so that's the context for what they're talking about a lot of articles about trans related issues yeah. rather than people being able to engage with any of these issues honestly with good arguments and to you know reinforce arguments or attack the other side it just instantly becomes an outing of whatever you know transphobic ism whatever you could call the other person and then you just kind of move on and forget about it but single is transphobic and, and the thing is is that he can have liberal and progressive opinions on other things but his opinions are transphobic so you can you can and that's the conversation now. That's the conversation now. Is he or is he not transphobic? Instead of, well, what is the what is the actual stance? Why is this incorrect? Or why? Uh, what is your position that's better? No, he was meh, 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 meh. Uh, Any film says, Destiny on Timcast IRL. Pregnant people can get an abortion. Uh, no, that was, um, that was Lance from the Surfs. Uh, yeah, people can get an abortion up until full term. Also, if a mother takes meth and kills her unborn baby, or unborn child, she should be tried for that. Makes sense, right? Because, well, you know, when you're doing math, you're, you're, you're harming a baby. But if you get an abortion, that's not, that's not harming anybody. What? That's really, 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 really what he thought. And again, another thought leader. This isn't just some schmuck. This is somebody who puts these ideas out to people every single day. And they listen. And then they vote.
best one out there. I want to pose a no surprise that Emma immediately does exactly what Dusty says the left shouldn't do. Bingo. Yep. You can make you can make claims about individual opinions, and and no one's saying like you're never allowed to vote Democrat again, Jesse. <laughs> you're out of the club. But that 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 those opinions. But you did just say he's out of the club. Being transphobic is not congruent with being in the club, right? So if you're saying he's, it's not that you're out of the club. You're just, you know, out of the club. What? Hey, shout out to Dr. Evil Genius. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the party. Good, good, good friend of the channel. If you have not, please, please go check out the Talking Shit podcast. Just drop the link in the chat. Welcome, brother. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Dr. Evil Genius says, if you don't agree with me, you're weak and quaking in your boots out of fear. The word phobia has been misnomered into irrele irrelevance. Absolutely. And, and that's exactly the semantic obfuscation is that, uh, you know, if something, if you were phobic, that used to mean something. It used to mean something. Does anybody have any understanding of what Emma's position on this Jesse person is because she said transphobic? Do we know what he actually said? Did he say that he wants them all to, to be ended? Did he say maybe not in sports? Did he say maybe not in bathrooms? Well, it doesn't matter. He didn't agree, so it's transphobic. Come on, bro. Come on. Uh, and, and an over-focus on the sister myth or things like that, that that is a transphobic impulse. I think that that it just makes people principled and clear-eyed. What, how, so looking at somebody like single, would we, how would we say that that's like a transphobic person? Somebody that clearly aligns with most left-leaning things, is clearly in favor of most forms of trans therapy. Is it because he takes a critical look at some research that we like, just write him off as transphobic? Um, well, I don't think um, that the, the, the I, 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 I don't know. I don't think that the, the, re, the analysis of um, the desister myth from his end is in good faith. But I mean- Ah, so he's talking about desistance rates where, all, again, all of us are probably very familiar with the idea of desistance, that if you just leave the kid alone, most likely they will go through puberty like a normal child and get rid of this idea of wanting to change their body. They grow into a new body naturally through puberty, and that is an uncomfortable thing for all of us. That doesn't mean that because you don't like your body when you're a 13-year-old girl that you're a man. But, you know, if you say that, then now you're transphobic and you're out of the club. Even though she said you're not out of the club, she is specifically saying, you, yeah, yeah, don't worry, Jesse, you can still vote for our side and receive the newsletter, but we can't hang out. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I, I'm not here to debate Jesse Singal. It's well, what if I need Then why did you bring up the debate? He as exactly De, uh, Destiny. Uh, sorry, who whoever said it, but Destiny was making a point about specifically, specifically not doing this. And yes, he brought up somebody as a as an example to to uh, you know to be somebody. Okay, we don't agree with this thing that he said. He wrote this article, or he's wrote these articles, and you know he's he's not good on those issues. We don't like him, or we we don't like them the them being the the positions. But that doesn't mean we don't have to like him. Like, well, I'm not gonna sit here and debate. Then shut up. How about that? He's like a uh, the, the fact that there's this overwhelming number of, of trans people who are desisting and that uh, doctors are pushing this on to people. Yup. That's happening. I think that the, it, it, what you cover is just as important um, as uh, and, oh. and what you choose to focus on is just as important uh, as what you say. And I'm going to count that as a projection. Specifically because she's talking about this Jesse guy and how he's covering, uh, uh, you know, desistance rates and saying what you choose to cover and what you choose to or what you choose to focus on and not focus on. Well, you're you're choosing to focus on the part that you disagree in the article and choosing not to focus on the fact that you apparently have a better position. Why is that? Why not just correct him? Why does he have to be transphobic? And I, I, I mean, I don't get it. I, I, it does. It does. It makes my brain hurt too. I'm right there with you, brother. He overemphasizes uh, these case by case claims um, that undercut the the solidarity that we should have with trans people. The solidarity that we should have with trans people. Damn the science. Damn reality. 
We just have to be in solidarity. We have to rah-rah because we have to rah-rah. Listen to it again. Listen to it again. She says the quiet part out loud. Uh, as what you say, and he overemphasizes uh, these case-by-case -case claims um, that undercut the the solidarity that we should have with trans people. Sure. So I, I can agree that there is. I, I mean, we shouldn't listen to science because we should we should have solidarity with these people who, by having this solidarity and ignoring the science, are condemning to a life of hell because. We have to be in solidarity. Xander said the trans agenda will one day be studied as a mass G-side of gay people and autistic people. They've taken these vulnerable people and fed them a lie that will cause harm over time. I mean, it already has, but you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. I, I think, uh, you know, gay people, autistic people, and, um, you know, p people who are generally, generally just have uh, extreme personality disorders or, you know, extreme depression and things. All of it, all of it, all of it. This is just a catch-all now. Not happy? Cut off your dick. That, I mean, that's what it is. It's important to focus on what you decide to cover. I think that that's, that can be as important as how you cover something. But I mean, at this point, Jesse's beat is essentially writing about trans-related issues. I just, I find it unfortunate that on the left, we've decided that if you take a critical look at trans mm -hmm. stuff, which is for better or for worse, been like the national discourse for the last two years, because Republicans have no other platform. I love what, I love when the lefty do, lefties do this. Here's this giant thing that's changing the entire world. Why are you, why are you so obsessed with this? Why are you so obsessed with this? And then remember, it was uh, when we were talking about Jazz Jennings with Lance and Surfs on um, on Timcast when he did when he had that quote that any film was talking about. And he's like, "Why do you care so much about kids' genitals?" What? Like, bro, what do you mean? And then Emma did the same exact thing when she was like, "Why do neo Nazis like your show?" It's like, bro, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, go ahead, go ahead. Just don't jump down. No, just Jesus. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna hurt himself. He's gonna hurt himself. All right. Yeah, because Republicans have no other platform. For better or for worse than like the national discourse for the last two years, because Republicans have no other platform, that we're not allowed to have somebody that focuses on, you know, the reality that there are some people that desist. There are some people that get on these medications that maybe don't need to be. Instead of even being able to look at that, we say that type of focus is inappropriate. But if you want to talk about like police killing on our black men, regardless of what the numbers there, we can have a hyper fixation on that, such to the point that we even cover these stories in dramatically incorrect ways that leads to additional rioting Peace. or other downstream bad consequences. The coverage is commensurate with the fact that black people are much more likely to be killed or abused by police, and that is why there is that emphasis. Trans people, 90% of Is it though? It is absolutely not commensurate. The amount that you talk about black people getting killed by the cops and the actual instances of black unarmed black people getting killed by the cops is not commensurate. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed that clip, check out the full live stream link in the bio and catch me live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. See you there.